Objective To study about the protoplasm and cytoplasm. Protoplasm The living, jelly-like substance found in a living cell is called protoplasm. Protoplasm was discovered by Corti and Fontana. The term protoplasm was coined by Perkin J. Von Mohl described protoplasm as the dynamic center for all the biological activities in a living cell. Protoplasm includes both the cytoplasm and nucleus. Cytoplasm The part of the protoplasm excluding the nucleus is considered as the cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is further divided into cytosol or hyaloplasm, cell organelles and ergastic substances. In matured plant cells, due to the presence of a large vacuole, the cytoplasm exists in the form of a thin layer between plasma membrane and tonoplast. This condition is called primordial utricle. Cytosol In many cells, the cytosol is differentiated into peripheral ectoplasm and inner endoplasm. Ectoplasm is relatively non-granular, viscous and clear. Endoplasm is granular and less viscous. The chemical composition of cytoplasmic matrix is 85% to 90% water, 7% to 10% proteins, 1% to 2% lipids, and 1% to 5% inorganic materials. Physical properties of cytosol When a light beam is passed through the colloidal system of the matrix at right angles in a dark room, the small colloidal particles which remain in suspended structure reflect the light so that the path of the light can be seen. This phenomenon is called the Tyndall effect. The random movement of the colloidal particles found in cytosol is called Brownian movement. The specific density of the cytoplasm is greater than 1. The cytoplasm maintains a pH slightly higher than 7. Cytoplasm coagulates and dyes when it is heated to 60 degrees Celsius or exposed to electric shocks and toxins. Biological Properties of Cytoplasm Cytosol exhibits the biological properties like growth, metabolism, reproduction, and irritability. Intracellular movement of the cytoplasmic matrix in the cell is called cyclosis. It is of two types. They are rotation and circulation. Rotation Unidirectional movement of cytoplasm is called rotation. That means either in clockwise or in anticlockwise direction around a large vacuole. Rotation is seen in the leaf cells of Hydrilla and Valisneria. Circulation Multidirectional movement of cytoplasm around the vacuole in a zigzag manner is called circulation. That means in both clockwise and anticlockwise direction. Circulation is seen in staminal hair cells of Rio Discolor.